Hello it's Alimic. in today's video we're not gonna work on Toyota Camry or any other cars we will be working on one of the world's smallest four-stroke engines that actually work like a real engine and I will be showing you the parts and some assembling process and then start it up in order to have complete engine like this you have to assemble the engine kit which comes in separate pieces you can download the assembling process and it's very easy to follow here are some of the parts this is the engine cover, the quality looks very good compared to the engine size. This is the fuel tank, which it will be filled with 20-25% of nitro fuel. This is the glow plug and it will do spark plug job. Whenever the engine uses nitro fuel and it has glow plug instead of spark plug, you don't need oil in that engine, because nitro fuel contains oil and it will constantly lubricate the engine. The engine comes with every hardware you will need to assemble the engine kit and the tools to complete this build. I will be using high temperature grease to lubricate the upper part of the engine since nitro fuel not gonna reach that part of the engine to lubricate camshaft and rocker arms we also gonna need some conventional oil to lubricate the seals and the pistons while assembling I start the following process from crankshaft and lubricate every seal and bearing before putting everything back so I don't have problem with engine startup I recommend to wear gloves while assembling the cylinder block is CNC machined and it has some sharp edges the precision of the parts looks very good and very precise. With some oil lubrication, I didn't have to force any part to its place. As you can see, all the parts should get in place without any force, otherwise you will damage them. Using oil with this wrench will make your job much easier and less messy. I can put few drops wherever I need and try to use thinner oil grade so it doesn't put any resistance on moving parts. I'm using 0W20 viscosity oil which I used for my 2017 Toyota Camry. And that is what I have in hand right now. I've seen some people using torque screwdriver to make sure every bolt has same torque. But I don't have any in hand. Hope it won't be a problem. The installation is very easy. Just pay attention to the small details so you don't damage anything. Because it doesn't come with spare parts. After putting the camshaft and crankshaft timing, rotate the camshaft. You should hear suction sound and smooth rotation. Next I'm gonna be using high temperature grease to lubricate upper part of the engine since nitro fuel not gonna reach that part of the engine to lubricate camshaft and rocker arms so I'm gonna put two drops of grease and separate it with a small brush Next carefully putting the gasket and lining up the holes and then the engine cover The following part is very easy not gonna be installed in a wrong way It's self explanatory Even if it was wrong you can take it off and put it back again in a right way it's not gonna be like apart from the engine to disassemble everything one of the things I like about this engine that it has its own starter just like real engine most of small engines has puller handles to start up but this one has its own starter alright engine assembling almost done and it looks absolutely amazing even just like a model next we gonna put the glue plugs in and then the wires Next I went to SketchUp and design a base for mounting the engine and the tank. After a few hours it's been 3D printed, it will make everything organized and I don't have to hold anything. I used 4 additional M4 screws to mount the engine and 2 screws for mounting the tank. Next installing glow plug wires that looks like spark plug wires exactly. And then starter wires. Alright we are almost done, the assembling took 2.5 hours plus moving camera and 12 hours of 3D printing the base for the engine. One last thing, installing the fuel line hose and I will try to make it short as possible to make the engine easy to suction the fuel. Alright guys we are outside and filling the fuel tank with a 25% of nitro fuel and don't try to run this engine in a closed place. Connecting glow plug wires to a 12 volt battery and starter wire to a 12 volt battery as well. Let's push the starter button and see how it works. When I lower the throttle, it turned off, 
So let's start again and see if we can lower the RPM later. It runs much better now, I can lower the throttle but it's on reach side and suction more fuel to the carburetor, I had to tune it later. But overall it works really cool, I'm really impressed with the function and detail of this engine. You can find the link in the video description box below of this engine and many other small engines. Let me know if you have any other ideas want me to do with this engine for the upcoming videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it interesting just like I did when assembling and running this engine. I'm gonna leave you guys with starting the engine and pushing to full throttle. Enjoy the video and I will see you in the next video.